Abandoned places are always intriguing and usually raise many questions. When it was built and what for? Why did it become abandoned? What's hiding inside? In today's video, we're going to visit several abandoned places, from theaters to asylums, and answer that last question. What are they hiding inside? I can promise that you never believe what was found in these abandoned places. But before we start, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Let's begin! If you are into collecting rare cars, make sure to check out the abandoned barns of your grandparents. Back in 2014, one of the oldest existing Rolls-Royce car was discovered in a dusty barn in Wales. It was sitting there alone for over 70 years, as people were thinking that it got destroyed back in the 1940s. What's so special about this incredible finding is that it's not only one of the oldest Rolls-Royce existing, but it's also only one of seven such models ever built. Meaning that even back when it was just put together, in 1922, this car was crazy rare. The reason why there were only seven such models made is simple, as it was an experimental prototype. Following the end of World War I, Rolls-Royce wanted to innovate smaller, yet faster cars. They came up with this 20 horsepower design, which could reach speeds of 50 miles per hour. However, this prototype never reached mass production and was replaced by Rolls-Royce New Phantom. It was the start of one of the most popular Rolls-Royce car models called Phantom. The Willard Asylum for the Chronic Insane was a state-run hospital in New York that began operating in the late 1800s. At the time, it was renowned for providing great care for the ill, but in the following decades, its funding got cut and its patients' capacity got pushed to the limits. Naturally, as most asylums, it has dozens of horror stories on inhumane behavior with the patients. But today, we're not going to talk about that. In 1995, the Willard Asylum closed its doors and became an abandoned building. To everyone's surprise, over 500 suitcases of the former patients were left behind. Hundreds of the suitcases were photographed, and each picture reveals many details about the life of the people before they eventually ended up in the asylum. For example, a woman named Virginia W. had a suitcase full of sewing equipment, dozens of bundles of colorful threads, a card carrying 12 Clinton brass rust-proof fasteners, a bunch of buttons, and a little clown doll. It all suggests that her hobby was sewing dolls. In addition to that, Virginia also had two huge books of William Shakespeare, one of his comedies, and one of his tragedies. Another patient, Stuart B., must have been a real dandy, as in his suitcase there were two hairbrushes, Dr. Lyon's tooth powder, sweet jasmine silk sifted talc, men in talcum, and a small hand mirror. In addition to all that, one urban explorer visited this abandoned asylum in November of 2012 and found a chair for female examination. However, he later found out that the chair had a more chilling use. It was an abortion chair, still having dry blood on its handles decades after its last use. Now abandoned, the Tivoli Theatre in Hamilton, Ontario, began its life as a carriage factory back in 1875. The carriage business didn't go that well, so the factory closed its doors just six years after its start, and the place was abandoned for the next 26 years. However, in 1908, the factory was turned into a movie theater capable of seating 200 spectators. It was named Wonderland, and at the time, it was the only place in Ontario showing movies with soundtracks. In 1924, its name was changed to the Tivoli Theater, and two years later, it became only the third cinema in Canada to feature talkies. That's how movies with spoken dialogue were called back in the day. Throughout the decades, the theater was constantly upgraded and improved. However, it ceased operating on September 28, 1989, after the final showing of Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. In recent years, there have been several projects to renovate the theater, but until today, no action has been taken, and it's become an abandoned building. Urban explorers love visiting this place for the interesting and sometimes creepy things that are left there. The most famous and insane example of its dozens of Pokemon plushies, it's not ordinary plushies though, as they are enormous. 
Among those found, there were several human-sized Pikachus, a Vaporeon, and a Pidgeot. But there are many more Generation 1 Pokemons found in the building. It's been speculated that the last performance in the Tivoli Theater was a live-action Pokemon show. And for whatever reason, the main characters were left abandoned. In 2004, a man named Nick DeMola had a job clearing abandoned places. One time, he was sent to clean the basement of one of the buildings in Manhattan. As usual, he found a lot of trash, but one thing piqued his interest. It was a huge barrel that, for whatever reason, he decided to put into the back of his truck and bring back to the warehouse. It remained there unopened for the next five years, when in 2009, Nick DeMola accidentally came upon it again, and because it was a quiet day, decided to finally open it. He found dozens of ancient clay figures and brought some of them to the experts for examination. They concluded that those artifacts are between 1800 and 2500 years old and were made by the Mayans. Although Nick DeMola was an avid collector of weird and bizarre things that he found during his work, he didn't keep the statues at home and sold it to a museum. Who knows how many more artifacts from ancient civilizations are lying around stuck in warehouses, just waiting to be discovered? Let's go back to Ontario, Canada. There's one abandoned high school in Northern Ontario that was built back in the 1960s. After over 30 years of operation, a new school was opened nearby, leaving this one abandoned and up for demolition. It would have been so if not for a private buyer who showed up at the last minute and purchased the building. However, the future plans of this place are unknown, and for the past decade, it's been popular among urban explorers. Besides dozens of incredible graffiti pieces all over the walls, there are hundreds of fascinating objects that were found inside. Probably the most intriguing discovery was made in a science lab, where a well-preserved carcass of a frog was found. How riveting! Among other artifacts in the science class, there were a handful of bug specimens, a tarantula in a jar, and other containers filled with unidentified objects. Let's end the video with something uplifting. One urban explorer spotted an abandoned house on Google Maps and gave it a visit. Surprisingly, it was full of toys from the 70s and 80s. If you grew up during this period, prepare for a nostalgia trip. Fisher Price Movie Viewer, Star Trek Lunchbox, Toy Record Player, Toddler Bike by Chips, and dozens of figurines. Among which, several E.T., one of Yoda, Oh, figurine I am! One of Chewbacca, and some other Star Wars characters. Maybe you can recognize the Polaroid Color Pack 80 camera that was produced from 1971 to 1976? It was found in the same house, in pristine condition. It's almost as if this abandoned house was a time machine. Thanks for watching. That was it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell. Trust me, there are many more fascinating videos coming your way. You don't want to miss any. Have a nice one. See you next time.